All right, guys, this might be the ultimate EDC pocket survival knife. Now, what is this knife? It is a Microtech Ultratech. It is a single edge in LMAX steel. And the reason why I think that this knife has a lot of really good potential for survival in wilderness applications is one, as far as the EDC and pocket goes, it is very easy to carry, it is very easy to use, actuate, of course, one handed, and it does a really good job of being very narrow, very low profile, and very pocketable, or at least pocket friendly. Now, where it comes into or holding its own in survival is partly due to the action. Now, of course, this is an OTF or out the front, as you guys have seen, and what that kind of constitutes for durability and ruggedness, which are very desirable traits when it comes to survival and outdoors, is the fact that this doesn't have any folding or pivoting mechanism in the blade so what that means when it actuates or it's in this state as you see is that the tang of this blade is locked into the aluminum handle here and essentially how that helps with strength is that you have that steel locked into this handle that is also metal and it creates a very tough very resilient um, kind of mechanism that does not fold and doesn't really break easily, at least not with most normal conditions. If you are doing things like batoning, uh, this really won't break or fail on you because it really can't. Once again, the tang of this knife is locked into this handle. And on top of that too, what I really like about these single edge Microtech Ultratechs is this essential swedge here is very sharp and strikes ferro rods or the back of a ferro rod. Um, very, very well. And you can get decent sparks enough to actually start fires with the back of this edge. Now, about the only thing that I don't like about Microtech Ultratechs for wilderness or survival applications is going to be the angle of the bevel. And as you guys can see here, I've actually re profiled this bevel to about a 17 degree per side angle. And essentially the reason why I did that is the factory or stock bevels on pretty much all Ultratechs are very abrupt, very thin, very small. So they are sharp knives, but they don't really do a good job at really slicing through things. So when you need to create something like a feather stick, you're going to run into a lot of issues with a blade shape or at least a grind and bevel like that because there's not going to be as much steel or as thin of a steel to really pick up thin pieces of wood to feather stick or curl. So that is probably the biggest um, you know, issue that you have to correct with the blade if you want it to be a good outdoor folder or a good outdoor pocket knife. But once you do that, it really works perfectly fine. And after I did that to this blade, this thing now feather sticks and is scary is scary scary sharp now the other nice thing is lmax itself while not a terribly rust resistant steel so the lmax steel used in this knife gives this blade good performance outdoors and you know good edge retention good shock resistance and all that fun stuff so honestly it is really good as far as performance goes so when it comes to the blade steel, LMAX does do a really good job at being shock resistant and it has a good performance for edge retention as a whole. So honestly, it lends its hand to field and outdoor use pretty darn well. So ultimately, this guy is very pocketable, very carryable, and it has good performance with slight modifications primarily to the bevel of the blade to make it an outstanding knife for field use and applications. And so I think that between that, you know this knife is a very easy knife to throw in your pocket it's not terribly heavy it's not terribly bulky or cumbersome once again you can use it one-handed and it is pretty darn squared away for outdoor use now some people may say that you know the action of course can get gummed up and it certainly can but it is also fairly easy to remedy um, at least in a pinch in the field so it is not without its problems and i think realistically all folders have their issue or all pocket knives you know are not the best for outdoors that's why most of us use fixed blades but if you're carrying a knife for the what if or hypothetical outdoor situation or if you're carrying a knife for wanting to carry one as a backup to a main field blade 
the UltraTech by Microtech is not a half bad option in my opinion and in my experience in use. I have actually fielded this and like I said, done survival tasks with this quite successfully. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the video. As always, God bless and I'm out.